We're going to start, naturally enough, with uh, a reminder of the very basics of performance reporting. Performance reporting is based, well normally to be honest with you, the, the income statement is put on uh, page one of the financial statement. It's put on page one of the financial statement. And the income statement includes what we call in um, financial reporting uh, the realised gains. The unrealised gains and losses go through a performance statement immediately below, called rather cutely the sorry. That's the statement of recognised income and expense. And frankly, very little goes through the sorry. It's almost, it's very frequently in real financial reports completely empty. But the classic example of a gain that would go through the sorry is revaluation gains. Revaluation gains are considered to be unrealised and therefore they can't go through the income statement. But obviously if you make a revaluation gain, you have made a gain and that should be communicated to shareholders. So what is the vehicle that we use for the communication of um, revaluation gains? The answer is it's the sorry. And the sorry basically just sits at the bottom of the income statement and and combined with the income statement forms what's called performance. So page one is the performance report and the performance report is split between the income statement and the sorry where the income statement is realised and the, uh, so the sorry is unrealised gains and losses.